Hey guys, Ari Henning here with another tech tip from the Motorcyclist Garage. Today we're going to show you how to install new crank bearings using fire and ice. We all know that taking things apart is easy, but putting them back together, especially when the components are in interference fit, like they are with crank bearings, can be a real challenge. Now because bearings are precision components and crankcases are pretty expensive, you don't want to use brute force. So what I'm going to do is show you a technique that doesn't involve a press and doesn't involve any tools beyond fire and ice. Woo! So the idea here is to chill the bearings so they contract and heat the crankcases so they expand and then the components will slip right together. Now what I've done is put the bearings in a cooler with some dry ice for about an hour and I'll heat the crankcase up with a propane torch. You can use your household freezer for the bearings and you can heat the crankcase up in your household oven at about 200 degrees. What you don't want to do is use an oxyacetylene torch because then you risk warping or causing other damage to your crankcase. With your torch on medium heat, heat the bearing boss evenly until it's hot enough to vaporize water. It'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to heat the crankcase up with the torch. Ideally, you'd put the crankcase in an oven since it'll heat it up slowly and evenly. We're doing it this way because we don't have an oven at the MC Garage and because my wife hates it when I put motorcycle parts in the dishwasher or oven at home. Retrieve the bearing from the cooler and make sure you wear gloves because these things are cold and drop it into the bore. Bingo. Alright, that's it. We got new bearings in these crankcases and obviously the crank needs to go in as well so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to refrigerate the crank and I'm going to heat up the crankcase and the bearing and everything will slide right together. So, hopefully you learned something helpful. Check back next time for more tech tips from the MC Garage.